Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, one Amen. Today's gospel actually from John chapter 3. And we hear a beautiful testimony from John the Baptist. Probably one of the most beautiful analogy or description the Bible offered to us when the Bible is speaking about our relationship with Christ or our relationship with Christ in every soul or even the relationship of Christ in every, of the church itself. That we are the bride, Christ is the bride and groom and we are the groom. And you can see this is very clear today how John the Baptist is revealing to us and to everyone today. Christ for us, he's the bride and groom. He's the bride and groom for every soul. هو عريس كل نفس. سيد المسيح هو عريس كل نفس. And you see that in today's gospel when he said, You yourself hear me witnesses that I said I am not the Christ. John the Baptist saying, You know what? I'm not Christ. That I said I am not the Christ, but I have been sinned before him. One of the beautiful things we know about John the Baptist, he came as a forerunner. We prepare the way to the Lord. And by the way, my, our mission statement here in life, you and I will have to prepare ourselves every day as a bride to Christ. They said, I'm not the Christ. I have been actually sent before him. And he said, actually, verse 29, he said, he who has a bride is the bride to groom. All of us when we come to the wedding, when the bride comes to the church, she's coming to one person only. She's coming because the groom is waiting for her. And both of them, they're going to get married and live together. But he said, who has a pride? I'm just a friend. He's coming to be a friend. You know, when you when attend a wedding, there's always like the, the bridal party. They do everything to make sure that the bride and the groom are really happy. They do everything for them. I always say to the bridal party, you're just a slave working for the bride and groom to make their day the best day in their life here. But he said, I'm, just, I'm not just only, the, I'm just a friend. And he said, to him, um, he said, he who has a bride is a bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hear him rejoice greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this is joy of mine is fulfilled. He's telling us, you know what? John the Baptist speak a joy that when we discover all of us, what Christ mean to us. So the most beautiful analogy the Bible using for us telling us Christ is the bride and groom for every soul. And each one of us is a bride for Christ himself. And we see that even if you study the Bible, the Bible starts with a wedding and ends with another wedding. Yeah, and the first wedding the Bible starts with after God created heaven and earth and everything. Right away he created, he established the beautiful marriage between male and female. And he said, you know what, what God had joined together, let no man separate. Even when he saw Adam, he said, you know what, Adam, it's not good for you alone. But I will create something compatible to you, to help you, to support you. And the concept of marriage, actually, to support one another, to help one another. And he said, you know what, it's not good for us. And the wedding, the Bible starts with a wedding. But guess what? In the end of the Bible, when you read the book of Revelation, there's a different type of wedding. There's a different type of wedding, which is actually when Christ unites with the soul itself. This is a wedding. That's why when we celebrate, actually, the life of Yusuf, one of our beautiful children just passed away, as you probably all of you here. Actually, he is actually the, a, a bride to Christ. Who Aris mean? Aris al-Masih ra'ah zaman. Fa'ba'a ma'ameen ma'al Masih nafsu. Fa'ahna farhidna anna huwa ma'ayeh. Zay kada lamma yikun wahad bijahaz nafsu lal farah. Ajmal lahzaf farah lamma la rusul aris ayeh. Yum farah, yani yumma. The day that when you propose, that's fine. The day you get engaged, that's fine. But the biggest day of their life is one thing, it's the wedding date. But that's why I was uh, so happy actually some of the youth came wearing white. That symbolized enough to come to celebrate a, a different type of wedding. Yeah. But today the best analogy I want to speak to you about actually the Bible used for us, telling each one of us, you know what? Christ is the bridegroom. And he's the bridegroom for every soul. Every soul. And I wanted to know that John the Baptist said, the relationship between us and Christ should be like a relationship between El Arus and Aris. El Arus and Aris. Because the Messiah is Arus Kulinafs. 
هو على ريسك لنفسه ف and you can see this very clear actually in many different uh, mentioned in the Bible. يعني for example in the parable of the ten virgin when he said the ten virgin the ten virgin is is basically a symbol to all of us some of them wise some of them foolish like every Christian there are good Christian and there are foolish Christian but all of them they were waiting for one thing waiting for the bride and groom and the Bible mentioned when the bride and groom came. Those who already entered and went with him. Not anyone, not every soul will go with Christ, but only the one who is ready to go with him. And we see even this analogy, St. John, St. Paul actually used it in Ephesians chapter 5 when he talked about really the relationship between husband and wife. And he said, wife, submit your husband. Husband, love your wife. And he said, you know, actually I'm not talking about the husband and the wife. I'm talking about the relationship between Christ and the church. And he said in the end, this is actually a mystery. A mystery. The relationship between the husband and wife, there's mystery in it. But also the relationship between me and my God is a mystery relationship. But today, John the Baptist calling each one of us, we are, all of us, Christ is our bridegroom. Christ is our bridegroom. And I want you to ask yourself, as a bride, are you ready for Christ? The foundation of the relationship between the bride and the groom built on one thing. Built on one love. The foundation of the relationship between one to, uh, 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 a bride and the groom, the foundation of it, love. And that love can lead to many different things in the life, actually. I would like to actually say that when you read the book of uh, Song of Solomon, it has a lot of beautiful analogy about this. Yeah, and in the book of Song of Solomon actually talks about the relationship between the bride groom and the bride. And he said actually, John, uh, 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 chapter 1, Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3, he said, For your love is better than wine. The, relationship, uh, our lo the love between the bride groom and, and the bride is better than even wine. You know when you attend a party, you want to drink wine, just married to happy, happy. You know, the love between both of them is beyond anything. And he said, you know what, another verse, he said, my beloved is mine, I am his. And this is a call from Christ to every one of us. Habibi li wa lahu. My beloved is mine, I am his. Each soul of us is very well loved by Christ. Even somebody far away, even the, that's the person that was far away from God. Yeah, and I tell you a beautiful verse actually. Verse 1-5, Song of Solomon 1-5 said, I am dark but lovely. Which means I'm full of sin. I'm full of many far away from God. I am full of darkness. But in the eyes of God, I'm very lovely and very beautiful. For God loves every soul. And God loves every one of us. And today I just want to take a few minutes to talk about really a beautiful verse. Song of, in the book of Song, Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 8. He said, I have compared you. He's telling each one of us, each soul here. I have compared you, my love. I love when he's saying to every one of us, you are my love. You are my love. And this is a beautiful relationship between the bridegroom and the groom. He said, I have compared you, my love, to my, lil, uh, to my fel, uh, fully, which means horse, among Pharaoh's chariots. You know, he says, he says, انت حبيبتي لقد شبهتك يا حبيبتي بفرس في مركبات فرعون يعني he's telling every soul you know what and I compare you with a horse in Pharaoh's chariot طب what's I'm going to talk a little bit about الهرس أو الهرس بتاع فرعون نفسه in five things number one the horse actually it's not a normal horse the horse that they use it في مركبات فرعون is different horse أول شيء الهرس لازم يكون قوي the horse has to be strong. So the, the first actually, I compare you like the horse. I want you to be strong like a horse. Well, horse lets you become strong in what? It's strong the way you serve God. It's strong the way you worship God. It's strong actually in your faith. It's strong to overcome any obstacles. فأول شيء في الفرس أو الحصان هو هو قوي لازم يختاره 
الحصان ده ما يكونش اي حصان لازم يكون حصان قوي وهو قوي واحنا بيقول لنا احنا عايزينك تكون قوي بس يكون كانوا ايه قوي في العباده قوي في الايمان قوي في احتمال المشقات نمبر 2 ا سكند كونسبت في اكشلي وني وني الحرس لازم يكون قوي قلت لي يعني لما يكون واحد بيشتري موتور يقول لك ايه هاو الهورس باور هاو ماتش ذا هورس باور اوف ذا موتور اف ذا موتور اكشلي هاز مور هورس باور ذات مينز سترونج موتور فاكشلي ذا باور ذا موتور ميجرد باي ذا باور اوف ذا هورس باور فذيرفور هي وانتس اس تو بي لايك يا هورس فيري سترونج اند فيري باورفول نمبر 2 اكشلي ويلينج ان هو تسكيب يعني وان اوف ذا كواليتي اوف ذيس هورس هير اف يو ايفر واتش ا هورس ريس الهورس عامل ان هو ايه سترونج هورس ذات كان وين ذا ريس هاز وان ا فيري امبورتنت كواليتي ويلينج ان هو ايه جمب اند ويلينج تو اوفركم اني ابستكلز ان ذا واي ايفن وين يو واتش هورس ريس بيبقى ايه دايما حاطين كده سيرتن ابستكلز سو اكشلي هيز تيلينج ايتش سول اوف اس كل نفس مننا لازم تتعلم ان هي تجمب بات ايه مينز تقفز اي مع اي عواقب في حياته اول اوف اس وفيس سو ماني تروبلز All of us will face many struggles in our life. All of us will struggle in many temptations in our life. But the key will be like a good horse and be able to jump any struggle that will come into your way. Number three, actually, about this horse, actually. But therefore, I'm talking about the first one, which is the horse that must be the human being. He is the one who 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 is وبيقول كده احد الاباء النفس النجاح النفس النجاحه روحيا عروس المسيح نفس وقت وقت ايه ممكن تتخطى اي مشكله واي موضوع في حياتها. نمبر 3 اكشلي نمبر 3 ذا هورسز ان في مركبات فرعون ذا هورس ان فارس تشيري هاز تو بي اكشلي فيري بيوتيفول. They put so many decoration on the horse itself. مزين يعني. فبيقول برضه احد الاباء بيقول احنا كل واحد مننا لازم نفسه تكون ايه؟ مزينه للمسيح. بس ايه الزينه بتاعتها؟ ايه الزينه اللي طالبها من ربنا؟ يقول لك النفس الروحيه تكون مزينه بالفضائل. النفس الروحيه تكون مزينه بالطهاره. النفس الروحيه تكون مزينه بالعباده. النفس الروحيه تكون متمسكه بالايمان الصح مش اي ايمان. فذيرفور هو بيقول لك انت على فكره انت نفس حلوه. وانا عارفك ان انت تكون من ايه نفس نفسي تكون متزينه زي الحرس مش اي الحرس دايما بيكون بتاع فرعون ايه في مركبات فرعون متزين جميل جدا بيقول انا نفسي كل نفسي بيكون تكون انت برضو ايه متزينه وجميله مليانه بكل الفضائل يبقى نمبر 3 ويل بي اكشلي هاز سو ماتش بيوتي ان ات نمبر 4 اكشلي ذا وان فيري امبورتنت كواليتي اباوت ذا هورس ذا هورس اكشلي اوبي ذا ليدرز If you notice, actually, I tell you a couple of things. I did couple, uh, when I was in Egypt. We did horse, uh, but the guy was training us how to really when you ride the horse. He said, "By the way, the horse will read your eyes." يعني you can tell the horse trying to put the leg behind you to make you mean. But since the other kid, the one at the left, the horse will turn to the left. Somehow the horse will read your eyes, and he will lead you. But the horse will follow the leaders. But therefore, we as a horse, we should learn how to be. We should be more patient. لكلمة ربنا وربنا نفسه. آخر حاجة إن هو إيه؟ ذا مين جول أوف ذا هورس إز وان ثينج. تريفيل ذا بيوتي لما يكون في الهورس في الموكب بتاع فرعون عايز يبين مين؟ يبان فرعون وجمال فرعون. فكل نفس مننا إن إحنا إيه؟ لازم تبين جمال مين؟ جمال ربنا. I hope all of us today كده ask yourself the message very simple. All of us we are just Christ said I'm the bridegroom and I'm looking for every soul. And every person to unite with that person here. My relationship between the bride and groom and the groom is one thing built on the foundation of love. But Christ is telling us, you know what? John the Baptist revealing to us one of the beautiful analogy I love is basically that al alaka bin al arus wal arusa. For كل نفس بشرية من هنا في بينا بل الكنيسة كلها بتشبهها نقول الكرو الكنيسة كلها عروس لمين للمسيح نفسه. ربنا يجعلها دايما ان احنا قلوب دايما تكون مستعده تكون عروس كده قويه نمبر 2 ان هي تكون ولا ان هي تقفز اي مشاكل نمبر 3 ان هي تكون مزينه بالفضايل نمبر 3 تكون مطيعه ومنتبضه زي ما بيقولها كده الراجل في الحصان ايه الحصان بيطيع نمبر 5 اللي هو ايه تظهر جمال الموكب او تظهر جمال ربنا
فقد بصون النص المفروض منها ان هي تظهر جمال مين ربنا يمكن اجمل شيء على فكره انا وانت عشان نغزي العالم دلوقتي مش اجتمعنا على فكره اللي احنا فيه دلوقتي متعطش ان هو يشوف كل واحد مسيح فينا صدقوني اكتر شيء لسه كنت بقرا مقال عن واحد يعني هيز نوت يعني كوبتك بس بيكتب اوراكلز بيقول على فكره اتس تايم فور اس ان احنا ليتس ريفيل كرايست تو ايفري ون اراوند اس they taken Christ from the school they taken Christ the no God in anywhere right now sadly but let's bring God to everywhere we go so if you if I'm in the court house I will bring Christ in the court house if I'm in the school I will bring Christ in the school if I'm at work I will bring Christ at work if I'm work talk to somebody I bring Christ man they actually the world right now in our society thirsty to see Christ in each one of us thirsty to see us how to walk the right walk And when the Bible is speak about really how to change others, he did not say, well, look, go out and speak. Allah, no. In, in uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, so they can see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. You want to glorify the bridegroom? One thing, show by your action. ربنا يدينا كده قلوب طهرة وقلوب نقية ونكون كل نفس فينا مزينة مزينة للمسيح كده عشان كل واحد منا يظهر جمال مين الملك. اللي هو رب المجد ولهنا في المجد والكرامه لابد امين